Hey everyone, welcome back to Chill Vibes Only, CBO Wellness. My name is Ali, and today I'm going to be talking about how to not feel anxious after sex. As much as I think that we like to imagine that sex is this wonderful thing that feels great all the time, and it's this you know, awesome part of our lives, and we feel confident and sexy, and we are loving having sex, either if it's with one partner or multiple partners, I think that that's not realistic and it's actually very common to feel anxious around sex even if you feel like you're having sex with someone who you really care about. You know, there are so many things that can spark our anxiety around sex such as, you know, unwanted pregnancy, unwanted STIs, um, you know, the relationship with the person, if that's going to change or alter what you know people might think of you what you might think of you there are so many things that can spark our anxiety around sex and i know for me personally i had many anxieties around sex growing up um, and it's through like my education around sex and feeling more comfortable in my body and confident that i've been able to you know minimize those anxieties and really get to view sex as a form of pleasure in my life and something that isn't stressful for me um, so i'm hoping today i can help talk about some of the anxieties that come along with sex and some tips and tricks that helped me alleviate those anxieties um, that you can try to incorporate and bring into your life uh, to help reduce the anxiety around sex so that you can actually enjoy it and use it as a form of pleasure in your life so I'm just going to kind of go over the main anxieties um, that come up during sex and then talk about some strategies that you can use to address them. So the first anxiety that I want to talk about is unwanted pregnancy. So I know for me personally, when I started having sex, I originally wasn't on a form of birth control in terms of like the pill or an IUD or the patch. I was just using condoms, although condoms are, you know, a way of protecting yourself from STIs and unwanted pregnancy. It's not foolproof, there are you know, worries around condoms, what if it breaks, or if it's not put on correctly. Uh, it can lend to a lot of anxieties. So I would say the first thing for unwanted pregnancy that helped alleviate a lot of my anxiety is getting on a really reliable form of birth control. Now, I'm not a doctor. Um, I would highly encourage you after this video to call your gynecologist. Um, if you don't have a gynecologist, call your family doctor. If you don't have a family doctor, um, there are, you know, in Canada here we have walk-in health clinics or, you know, a Planned Parenthood. Uh, actually in Canada and BC recently, they have um, made birth control free for anybody in the province. So it's really accessible to get and I think there are many different forms of birth control. Um, some will be better for your body than others. But for me personally, I found getting on a reliable form of birth control really helped alleviate my anxiety around unwanted pregnancy. Um, and it kind of just took off the table for me that fear. Um, and I know birth control doesn't work for everyone and everyone's body. That's why I'm saying, you know, talk to a doctor, uh, figure out what's going to be best for you and how you're going to be able to monitor you know, making sure that you're not getting pregnant from sex when you don't want to, so you can turn that anxiety off and again focus on the moment and the pleasure. So yeah, definitely reliable birth control I think is the only way that you're going to alleviate that anxiety. Um, so definitely talk to your doctor and get that checked out. Two was getting an STI. This is something that um, I think has been really stigmatized in society. And I want to normalize that like if you get an STI, like you're not dirty or wrong or bad. It's just like if you got any other infection from anybody, I think sometimes STIs have this huge stigma around them because they have to do with sex. But really like nobody was giving you any stigma for passing along a cold. So if you're passing along an STI that you're not like that wasn't known to you or that someone passed on to you that you didn't know about, there should be no shame and stigma in that. Feel confident and prioritize your health and, and advocate for yourself and get the treatment that you need um, and have no shame around that. There are so many people who can track STIs. Unfortunately, it's just part of life, right? Like there are infections that go around um, and sometimes, you know, things happen even if you're being super careful. Using condoms, of course, use condoms, you know, use protection you know get tested that's obviously the number one and that the people who you're sleeping with are tested STI sometimes can take up to two months to show on a test so definitely you know make sure it's something that you're doing regularly and if something does come up again it's 
it's not anything to be shameful about. Get treatment, um, you know, take care of yourself, take care of your body, uh, and just be responsible. And being responsible is getting tested and using protection. Um, and I find if you're doing those two things, you have really nothing to be anxious about because if anything were to come up, you can easily get that treated. Um, and you know, if nothing comes up, great, because you're continuously sleeping with people who have been tested and you're using protection um, and you're being smart about it. So. That's my second tip for you know managing any STI stressors or anxieties is just to be really responsible about who we're sleeping with and being um, open and transparent about our test results. Okay, uh, the third anxiety that can come up I think sometimes is obviously feeling like we're not doing sex right or that you know our partners are judging us or we're judging our bodies. And with that, I would say like. It takes a lot of time to feel comfortable in your own skin and I would highly recommend if you want to alleviate anxiety around sex, make sure you're having sex with people who you feel safe around, who you feel safe and comfortable with and make sure you're in the right mindset and you're, you're not having sex before you're ready. I think that like especially when we're in vulnerable states, um, if we use sex you know, as a way to feel maybe validated by someone or um, you know, as a way to make ourselves feel better when on the inside we're not, it can lead down a slippery slope and maybe it might feel good in that moment, but afterwards you have a lot of anxiety. So I would recommend you know, taking a step back and really focusing on yourself, um, thinking about like writing out the reasons why you like to have sex um, and the things that make like you feel good about it and like your body feel good. Focus on those things and have sex for those reasons and not for reasons that you know you're seeking validation from someone or um, you know you feel pressured by someone like sex should always be our own choice we should have, be able to consent to it and we should feel like we're doing it because we actually truly want to and not because we're trying to like get something out of it so kind of point b of that is if you're feeling anxious after sex because you're using sex as a way to get someone to like you or care about you or text you or spend time with you and this person is not really meeting your needs. I mean, if you're having sex and you just enjoy the sex and it's just sex, that's fine, but if you're doing it for these things and this person isn't fulfilling those things, it's likely only going to lead you to more anxiety um, and more stress and you know, you can't necessarily force someone into liking you or wanting to be with you through sex, like that's not the way that you want to start a relationship or how you want to convince someone to be interested in you. Um, someone should be interested in you way before that. Um, you know, this should be something that is fun for the both of you, that you both get pleasure from and that you both feel good about and that there's a respect there, right? So respect means that you, you know, treat each other kindly, you follow up with one another, um, or that you at least have a the similar page, like the similar standard of what you're looking for out of this, and you, you know, adhere to that standard. So if it is just sex, great, but both parties need to understand that and agree to it. Um, it can't just be one person using the other or vice versa. Um, I think that, you know, as much as sex is fun and it can be casual for sure, we do have to remember that like it comes from a really sacred place and like our Balbas are beautiful, wonderful things um, that are meant for pleasure, but our vaginas are actually meant for birthing life. Um, and you know, creating life is a miracle in itself. And so you want to like really treat your vagina as a space that's really special and important to you, um, and that you care about, and that you want other people to care about, and not let people disrespect you or disrespect it. So those are my tips for alleviating anxiety around sex. Um, if you have more anxieties that come up that you want me to speak on, um, please let me know. I just kind of covered four that I find people DM me about a lot. And so I wanted to address those and give you guys some just quick tips and tricks that have helped me. Um, yeah, I hope you guys found this video helpful. Uh, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe because that really helps our channel and check out our other videos. We have so much wonderful information on sex and relationships, so definitely give it a watch and I'll see you for another video shortly.